First, uh, please sit correctly with your two legs side by side firmly to support your upper body. When you play scales and arpeggios, uh, you're covering the piano from bottom to the top. For example, if I play E major arpeggio, my upper body follows my both hands to make them comfortable. So you would like to understand how to move your upper body. Uh, there are so many things that I can talk about in greater details, but let's, let's start with the finger movement. When you simply play five notes with your five fingers, that you use pronation with your thumb, which means your thumb moves towards you while other fingers move the other way. And if you look at your wrist, it moves naturally. Now, if you have fixed wrist, and use only your fingers, which is really bad. Don't, don't do that because it may cause injury later. So you would like to keep your wrist flexible, uh, uh, flexible and uh, uh, move naturally. And when you play the scales and arpeggios, uh, you will notice that you have to use your thumb under the fingers or sometimes over the fingers and it becomes important to understand that you need you need to keep your thumb flexible as well um, so if I play E major um, 